Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Davis from Happy Place to Grow. And as you can see, I'm not in the learning corner today, but I am in a special environment. I'm in the woods. And no, it's not October anymore, it's November. And it's still the season of fall, as you can plainly see. So I thought it would be interesting for us to hang outside in the season of fall and talk about one of the most interesting birds, in my opinion. And sometimes this bird is associated with Halloween, although I'm not really sure why. So I thought it would be really interesting if we got some quick facts about an incredible, amazing bird called an owl. Yeah, we're gonna go through this book called Owls in the Fall. It's a really quick read. We're gonna discuss some totally true facts about owls. Before we go through this book together, I want you to think about what you already know about owls. Because if you're doing nonfiction reading and you're going to gain some more knowledge, you have to think about what you already know and then you have to reflect on some new information you'd like to learn as you're researching about a topic. So let's think, what do you already know about owls? All right, on the count of three, I want you to shout it out. One, two, three. I heard some good facts out there. I heard some of you say an owl is a bird. I heard some others say owls have feathers. Yeah, those are all correct. Hey, let's journey in this book and see if we can learn some more facts. Now, I love these Discovering My World books because the invitation to read is always located on the back. So let me read. It says, owls are night birds. Did you know that? They can see in the dark. What do you know about owls? Well, we already talked about that. So let's keep reading. It says the world around you is a very big place. There are lots of things to see and hear and know. Open the pages of this book and discover your world. Look at those cute owls. I think those are baby owls. Do you know what a baby owl is called? It's called an owlet. All right, let's journey and see what we can learn about owls. And there are those cute baby owls. It says, baby owls leave home in the fall. Oh, that's interesting. So they're ready to leave the nest. They've learned everything they need for survival in the season of fall. Wow, I didn't know that, did you? Oh, how cute is that baby owl? It says they fly away. Everything they need to learn about survival, communication, how to find food, their mother teaches them. Mother owls lay one to 12 eggs. Can you imagine raising 12 baby owls at one time? That would be a lot of work. As they fly off, they have to find new homes. Here's a question. It says, where do these owls live? Yeah, it looks like an old tree. They look for food to eat. Now this owl looks like it's eating a snake. What else do you think owls like to eat? Let's think about it for a minute. All right. Let me know what you think, what else they eat. All right. I heard somebody say bugs. You're right. Small little creatures like frogs, true. And even some small mammals like mice, yeah. It says most owls fly at night. So that food they're looking for, they're looking in the night. Now you can see that this owl has his wings spread, he's flying. These feathers are so soft, they're so fluffy that it creates a very quiet, almost silent flight. 
for the owls. So, as they're flying at night looking for their prey, they can't be heard. That gives them an advantage to be able to hone in on their prey. They're silent flyers because of those fluffy feathers. It says, do an owl's wings have feathers? Yes, absolutely. Let's learn some more. Ooh, this is an amazing photo. Look at those beautiful glowing eyes. Owls can see well. So to be able to fly at night, they have to have night vision. And if you are an owl, not all owls, owls are awake at night, but a lot of them are. If you are awake at night and you're hunting at night, we call that type of creature, did you say nocturnal? You are so bright. I know I'm not nocturnal. I'm sleeping at night, but most owls are awake. They're hunting. Yeah. And they can see really well in the dark. I can't see in the dark. Can you? Not without a flashlight. Owls can hear really well. Owls can hear their prey from very far distances. Now, where do you think the ears of the owl are? If you said the ears are on the side of the owl's head, you are correct. But we can't see them because they're hidden by their feathers. Mm -hmm. It says some owls say hoot. So when they communicate, some owls say who, who, but not all owls say those sounds. Another type of owl says screech. Look at that. Now he looks pretty fierce. Maybe that's how they got associated with Halloween. He looks pretty scary. Now I used to think when I was first learning about owls that these were the owl ears. However, I learned that those are just decorative feathers that the ears are actually on the sides of their heads. Owls have sharp, sharp beaks. So they don't have teeth, but look at that beak. That's very sharp and strong looking. And that eye, how beautiful is that? Let's learn some more. Wow, look at those claws. Look at that claw, look at those nails. They call those sharp nails talons. It says, how many claws do you see? Wow, I'm gonna put my glasses on for this one. It looks like, I'm gonna count, you count with me. It looks like there's one here on the bottom, two, three, four, it looks like four. Is that what you're seeing? That's what I'm seeing. They look very sharp. So when they're flying down and they're looking for their prey and they spy their prey and they're swooping down, they just grab their prey while they're in flight with those sharp claws. Now that's amazing. It says owls are smart birds. Now let's close up with a little quiz and I'm gonna add a few more facts before we close up on our nonfiction learning about owls. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Let's see how good you were listening. When do baby owls leave home? Remember at the beginning of the book? Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. Look back there. What season is it? Uh, yeah, they leave home in the fall which I thought was interesting, and that was a new fact I learned. What time of day do most owls fly? What time of day? So not like at six o'clock or four o'clock. If a day is 24 hours, are most owls flying in the daylight or in the dark time? Yeah, they're night flyers. Most of them are nocturnal and they're moving around at night. So far, so good. Here we go. Next question. Can you name one 
animal that owls eat. When the book, it showed a picture of one animal. Yeah, it was a snake. And we also learned that they like to eat bugs and little mice. Mm. Next question. This is a yes or no. Do owls have good eyes? Yeah, you got it. They definitely can see at night. And what sounds do owls make? Can you remember the two sounds from the book? Hoo, hoo, and the screech, screech owls. They're really kind of creepy at night. I have heard a screech owl at my home. Wow, even though that was a really short book, I learned a few new facts for sure when baby owls leave the nest. I'm gonna leave you with a couple more facts. There are over 200 different types of owls all over the world and owls can live for up to 30 years. That's a really long time. Owls are amazing birds. They're very interesting and I think they're beautiful. Now I want you to join me for part two of owls we're going to be doing some owl art together. So stay with this video because part two is going to be connected with this nonfiction section and we're going to be making an owl together. So we're going to get crafty with our owls. I want you to go gather some items, go get some construction paper, we're going to need some white construction paper or even light brown or tan. We're going to need some crayons, some glue, some scissors, and to make this look really owl-tastic, you're going to need some feathers. So you're going to need to go to a Walmart or a craft store and just pick up some feathers because we want to highlight our, our art project with some fluffy feathers because we know that those feathers give the owls their silent flight. All right, join me in part two of this video um, journey that we're taking about owls. All right, kids, until our next part two together, as always, have a good one. Go gather those supplies and I'll see you in a few minutes.